Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, I'm bringing you another video here, a little bit of a DIY project. Uh, what I'm doing, actually I've got more than one project going on, but um, anyway, uh, what I want to show you guys is how to paint the back of an aquarium. Um, very easy background to do. Um, you can do this, you know, if you've got some newspaper, set it on your floor. Since I have a garage, I'm doing multiple projects at the same time, and I don't really care about the floor. I already stepped in some stain over there. Um, but anyway, so painting the back of an aquarium, very easy. I did this to my 210 gallon tank. I didn't do it on my other ones because they were already set up. Um, so this is gonna be a planted aquarium, um, and I'll go over um, how to do this, and I'll, um, I'm actually going to do a separate video about my aquarium, uh, but this is just about painting. Uh, so, this is a 20 gallon long, not that it matters, it's gonna be the same um, no matter what size uh, a tank that you're doing. Um, so basically what you wanna start out with, yes, it's got sand in it, um, you want to clean the back of the aquarium um, as much as possible. You do not want anything on it because as soon as you paint it, you're going to see it on the other side, on the inside. Um, so I just used some glass cleaner, um, cleaned the back off, made sure it dried. Um, next step, so I'm using um, satin black. Um, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it also is kind of textury, um, so it won't scrape off as easy. Um, the, uh, you know, when you're painting glass, it's going to scrape off if you brush up against it. Since it's on the back, you don't have to worry about it so much. Um, but let me show you the, uh, I actually just went to Lowe's, you can go to Home Depot or whatever, but satin black, Valspar, latex. Um, I got these rollers. Um, they are for um, cabinets um, and door cabinets, or uh, doors for the cabinets, because um, it's a really smooth brush. Um, and then I just poured some in a paint liner. Um, I do have a tray right there, but it's got stain in it. Um, anyway, so you're going to start off with a really thin layer, um, and you really want to goop it on there. And then don't put, uh, once you get it gooped on there, you want to lightly brush on the back, or roll on the back of the aquarium because you don't want to get those lines on there. Now you can see a little bit, but once you start getting more layers on there, you won't notice it as much. Um, but anyway, you just want to lightly go over it. Um, but make sure you get, you know, all the way down in the crevices and things like that. Obviously right now, this is my first layer. Um, it doesn't take long to dry, I usually only wait about 20 minutes, and then I do another layer uh, over the top of it. But you wanna roll really lightly on there uh, because you'll really get the, so you can already see lines, but if you roll lightly enough, you won't really notice them. But you really wanna roll very lightly on the back. Again, you want to get these rollers that are made for uh, cabinets because it's really smooth finish. Um, and since you're on glass, obviously you want the smooth finish. So I think I'm about ready for another layer. So I'll just show you kind of, you don't need a ton of paint. And just roll off a little bit. I just start on the, the edges, lightly roll until it's covered. Let's do this area here. So you see it's already starting to cover a lot better since this is the second layer. So I'm just putting a little pressure on it right away so we can get the paint from the roller uh, onto the glass. And then you wanna go lightly over it again and smooth motions to get rid of those lines. So we really, I push harder around the trim. 
so it gets down in the corners. Now there's going to be sand covering it, so it's not that big of a deal, but... So now, I'm going to kind of go over the corners a little bit here, just like this. So now, just do light rolls. You want to do it one smooth motion. Don't put any pressure on it, just roll it across. Now I'll give you that nice smooth look when you're done. And again, just reiterate, make sure the back is clean so you don't see anything on the other side. Um, I'll get all my layers on here. And then I will come back and show you the finished product. Very easy to do. Um, but I will see you guys in a bit. Uh, you can see, so this is from the inside view. Uh, really worked out nice. Um, it's a lot cleaner looking than those tape on the back ones. Um, some of those get really dirty behind uh, the paper. So um, they get a lot of... Uh, water spots and things like that. And this you don't have to worry about, it'll stay looking nice all the time. So a few tips uh, when you're doing this. Again, um, you want to make sure that you put, um, this took me about 10 coats. Um, it didn't, I mean I, I've done this in the course of about three hours so uh, it really didn't take that long. Everything dried really fast. Um, I've done this multiple tanks, holds up really well. Um, Make sure you're rolling pretty lightly at first when you do your first few layers and then you can tell when it's really catching the paint um, after a few layers and then you can really start coating it on. Um, it'll look really nice. Just make sure that you, when you're finishing up a layer, that you do, um, you roll um, completely from one side to the other side in a nice smooth um, so you don't get any of those lines um, through the paint. Always keep plenty of paint around. Um, I mean that, this is only a 20 gallon. Um, that little can uh, covered my 210 gallon when I did that one. So, I mean it'll cover plenty. And I use it on my stands, like I'm doing a project right now over there, um, covering up um, some nicks and stuff on some stands that I've got. And I use the same paint. Um, also, if you have a tank that you remove the rim like I did, um, I did create a couple braces here um, for the structural part of the, the tank um, as well as you know this will hold my light on top as well um, but make sure you scrape all the silicone off make sure it's clean um, clean it with a nice um, window cleaner make sure you don't get any dust one thing that I ran into if you're anything like me is I have dogs and there's dogs dog hair everywhere um, if you just if you get a piece of dog hair in the paint just leave it there for a little bit wait till it dries um, not completely just let it dry a little bit and then take your paintbrush or your roller and you dab just barely touch the, the hair with the roller and it'll pull that hair right off um, so yeah this is the DIY paint the fish tank background uh, much cleaner than anything you can buy in the store unless you do a 3D background which um, I didn't want to leave any volume here so um, if you guys have any questions just comment um, down below um, if you really enjoy my videos um, I've got quite a few if you want to check them out a few reviews um, also some updates on some of my fish tanks I appreciate the the likes and the and the subscribers and I appreciate you guys for watching and catch you next time.